reaching the last question, um, I would like to to maybe deepen a little bit this relation between the German context and the Brazilian context. So in Brazil, we recently proved the Marcos de Internet, which is also known as the Brazilian Internet Bill of Rights, and it establishes the mandatory retention of connection logs and application logs. Connection logs for one year and application logs for six months. Uh, even though law enforcement authorities authorities representatives have publicly defended the need to increase uh, even more its investig investigative capacity and access more information about internet users. Uh, in Germany, uh, there is a new law regarding data retention which aims to reach the requirements provided by the German Constitutional Court. So what lessons can be brought from the discussion in Germany to a broader context of debates on limits of data protection? Um, I think that uh, the, the lessons can be tra drawn from uh, from German experience, but that also lessons can be drawn from the European experience. The German experience, uh, the German, uh, German um, um, uh, policy making uh, with respect to uh, data retention um, is in a way uh, not n not based on a firm conviction of, in fact, uh, introducing or reintroducing a general data retention uh, um, a regime. Because after the uh, Federal Constitutional Court had held um, 2011 that uh, the uh, then statute on data retention was unconstitutional, the federal ministries of justice had argued we will not reopen that question, we will not reintroduce a bill until the European Union, the Commission, has presented their own um, vision of data protection, personal data protection, and in this context also um, a retention of uh, telecommunication data. Uh, and that position of not moving and uh, not introducing data retention anymore, that was in a way strengthened through the decision of the European Court of Justice, which held the European Union Directive on Data Retention uh, unconstitutional and in violation of privacy and data protection rights. However, then there was uh, there was one and a half two years ago, kind of uh, there was a political move in the Social Democratic Party, because the Federal Minister of Justice is a social member of the Social Democratic Party, and he was uh, explicitly against introducing something. However, the um, uh, the chief of uh, the Social Democratic Party one and a half years ago said, look, we have to fight against transnational crime, child pornography, and in order to, we have to protect our citizens. In order to do so, we have to reintroduce data retention. And the Federal Minister of Justice, he's not very strong, overnight, changed positions and said now we will try to find something which complies with the German Federal Constitutional Court's decision on the one hand and the European uh, Court of Justice uh, decision on the other hand. So what came out is a compromise. So um, on the one hand um, the, uh, uh, the drafters had attempted to reduce as much as possible the impact on privacy through reducing the uh, uh, period of uh, retention to a period where police, say, <laughs> police and secret services say <laughs> that is uh, crap because we cannot do anything with that. Uh, we need 
as uh, I think Brazilian uh, uh, security uh, uh, and, and police law enforcement uh, agencies will say we need uh, at least one year, better two years. <laughs> Most probably people argue five years, would, ten years would be best. Mm -hmm. um, um, and that was then the outcome. A maximum of data protection, maximum reduction of the retention period, and so it was a compromise which tried to, um, in a way, uh, come to um, terms with proportionality and this balancing. However, as I said before, there is in principle still no balancing because there is a general retention, although only for a short period of time, but general data retention it doesn't make a principal difference. So what we have now, uh, in fact, is something which uh, is a compromise, which is obviously not in line with the decision of the European Court of Justice, and in particular not in line with the decisions of a couple of other constitutional courts in, 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 in Europe. Because it's interesting to see the consequences of the European Court's decision on uh, uh, data retention. It was first the Austrian Constitutional Court, which after a couple of weeks said very uh, shortly and uh, there's no way that in Austria uh, general data retention can be introduced anymore because that would infringe on proportionality and uh, with that on privacy and data protection. It was then the Slovenian uh, Constitutional Court, the Slovakian Constitutional Court, Bulgarian Constitutional Court, Romanian Constitutional Court. Um, in, in Scandinavia there is no constitutional courts, but, uh, and in, in the Netherlands there have been uh, um, uh, lower courts deciding in favor of uh, telecommunication co uh, companies which didn't want to continue with retaining after the European Courts of Justice decision. So what we have now in Europe is it's just a mess because we have countries where um, there is a, a firm commitment not to introduce um, uh, retention and there's countries like France and England which are firmly committed to continue. Yeah? So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real split through Europe the European Union and through Europe and uh, that um, I have the impression that is that in, in Germany and in Europe uh, the disc not only discourse uh, but the conflicts will continue and um, I don't see any any um, solution at least for the European Union the European Union uh, tried to introduce uh, with the Data Retention Directive 2006 harmonization. Yeah. Now, what, what, uh, now there's uh, no harmonization. There's the biggest, uh, biggest difference is possible in, in, in Europe. And I have the impression that, uh, um, uh, in fact, we should uh, try to sort out uh, a, a a way uh, to use telecommunication um, uh, data, um, which of course uh, should under certain conditions be made available uh, for um, law enforcement purposes and security issues, uh, but we should also try to introduce a maximum of data protection and a maximum of uh, protection of uh, privacy. And, um, I I think I still think that the solution which was provided in the cybercrime uh, convention of the, Euro uh, of the Council of Europe um, a long time ago, which um, um, suggested a, a te technique of uh, freezing, of short-term freezing of data, um, if there is suspicion or a certain risk, that that would be a solution which would be in line with. Uh, the uh, uh, constitutional court's decision we have now in Europe, including the European court's decision, and which would be in line with a commitment to privacy and uh, protection of personal data. Okay. So, um, we would like to thank you uh, for being here. And
ligado comigo e 